Hey guys, Robbie. I got a special guest here to say something. Greetings, this is Wonder Woman. You are watching Pros vs. Noobs. Uh, actually, Wendy, that's supposed to be Pro Teaches Noobs. I know you like how to do, uh, you like to do fighting and everything, but not everything's always... And today, safe. this is Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, We're going to teach you how pros do things. They do it better than their brother. They're, they're about to celebrate becoming an only child. Yeah, I hear you say that a lot, Azula. Yeah, noobs are just twerps and they all need uh, to go to bed. They sure are. I can't stand a noob. You know who's a noob? Billy from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I can't stand that guy. But he is my best friend, so whatever. Oh, way to go, Mandy. So, yeah. <laughs> what they said. Welcome to Pro Teaches Noobs. Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Up Pro Teachers Do. Today I'm with me, Jared. Hell yeah. And today we're going, we're continuing our real world's coverage with Wonder Woman. And unfortunately, I got it. Good to see you again, Jared. It's not that good. I'll be the judge of that. Well, I'll just put it out, she doesn't appear that much. She doesn't have much relevance to the story. That's kind of, that's a red flag right there. Yeah, oh, funny you say red because. Wonder Woman versus the Red Menace. Oh, okay. That, this was not planned, ladies and gents. This was just a random thing. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, we see all this as we see uh, Brenda Kelly as Wonder Woman, Bobby Tyler as Steve Trevor, Millie Walker as Etta Candy, and Claire Harding as the Baroness with From Lindsay. Joe? Harding. No, no. The Baroness was also a Wonder Woman villain. The oh, okay, villain. okay. But yeah, I. I, I, I will get, uh, basically we see going through, you know, um, um, oh, and also with Linda Morris, Natasha Romanzi. But yeah, we're seeing Steve, in, again, this is all a movie serial. Mm -hmm. So you have the Baroness ready to wind him into a bunch of bad sharks. Mm -hmm. They have laser beams on their heads. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, woo, woo, woo. Oh, and, and a candy side up too. Woo, woo, look, it's Wonder Woman and Natasha. It's over, Baroness. Set our comrades free now! Stop them, you fools! Come and get us! Uh, but, and we're always up for some exercise. Try this out for size. Uh, just look at that. Yeah, there you go. There was there, there was never a Wonder Woman serial, was there? I don't think so. There was a Superman and Batman, but not Wonder Woman. Probably because, again, Wonder Woman was not as re relevant as Superman and Batman back then. Not by the time of the movie serial, no. Yeah, exactly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what is wrong with Hollywood today? A communist sympathizing garbage because they had a Russian, um, you know, um, oh, okay. mm -hmm. Now, this is the heart of that they height of McCarthyism. It's communist sympathizing garbage like this that's poisoning the minds of America's youth. Frankly, my friends uh, and my friends, as a parent and a former movie actor, I am outraged and ashamed. We live in the greatest nation on earth, but even as we sit here, our ideals are being undermined by communists and other radicals. Who are using motion pictures to propagate their twisted agenda? Oh boy, does this sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Culture war. <laughs> but you, you could, you know, what's kind of funny. If you replace communist sympathizing, you could replace woke. that one with woke, and then and, and then you don't even have to change anything. Well, to be fair, you still have some people claim about things being communistic as well with wokeness. Well, Still, but yeah, my point is you could take that, that speech and just copy and paste it into like a Geeks and Gamers video and it's the same thing. Mm hmm My fellow Americans, we must demand that the studios weed these individuals out of their rank before it's too late. <laughs> L listen to them. <laughs> One thing about Randolph, he really knows his audience. The crowd really eats up this anti-commie cry. Think it's crud? Let me tell you something, pal. Communism is a disease that can destroy this country. The sooner we wipe it out, the better off we'll be. Isn't it just weird if this feels like when you look back at McCarthyism, it's basically currently it seems our history repeating itself almost? Mm -hmm. You know, with talk like that. Yeah, exactly. Except you don't have the people in higher authority. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The low down dirty, what is it, Mr. Goldman? It's Randolph. Listen to this. American ideals are being threatened by communists working in the Hollywood film industry. Who and we're using them, yeah, repeating what he said. For God's sake, the little punk is going 
for a nationwide movie boycott. Jeez, as if television is enough of a threat to our shareholders. Now we got Randolph and his cronies and watch him breathing down our neck. All right, I want a complete overhaul of everything in production. Uh oh, knee jerk reaction. Mm-hmm. Take out all of the pro commie stuff. From now on, anything that smell and that even smells pinko friendly is out. Everything this is reminding me a lot about about Warner Brothers handling Zack Snyder's Justice League back in 2017. All right, all right. <laughs> I had to bring that up once. Yep. Everything in production, the features, the cartoons, the serials, everything, especially the serials. What do we got on the board? Um, Dusty Trails, Hero uh, of the Old West, Wonder Woman versus the Atomic Vampires. Okay, kill the vampires. Now it's going to be Wonder Woman versus the Red Menace. Thanks, doll. Red Menace, huh? Well, and well, and you you want to see a real Red Menace? You should catch me after a few a few too many. See you later, hon. Oh look, Superman, Batman. Hey, Sue. Let's say you and me get together sometime, and you can show me why they call you the Man of Steel. Care for those cigarettes, fella? I hear they stunt your growth. It's kind of funny how they kind of made Superman look like Kirk Allen. Yeah, I think that's the point. Yeah, there you go. And the other guy looks just like how Batman in the old series looked like with the big ears. There you go. That's cool. Yep. Well, but isn't Millie Walker, my my svet little pa- Palestia, Stefan Rezbowski, and say, uh, if I didn't know any better, I swear you would flirt with me. I've heard tales about your Eastern European types. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, Millie, where are you off to in such a hurry? On my way to the wardrobe department to see Brenda. By the way, how are things on Aurora? Oh, coming along, coming along. Shooting in Technicolor is quite a pain, you know. Uh, call for Stefan. Who is it? Your attorney says it's important. I'll be right there. Damn. I'll well, see you later on this, at the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. Wowee. Betty Grable, eat your heart out. Millie, hi. So what do you think of my new costume? Too revealing? Not, wait, oh, let me check out what it looks like at the beginning. Oh, yep. Went from yep. skirt to tighter pants. And that's actually the evolution of what w- w- Wonder Woman's costume. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, remember, don't take your costume home. This means you. <laughs> Not if you're working the corner of Hollywood on La Brea. <laughs> on La Brea. Well, it looks, it, and I think it looks marvelous, especially on a slim figure like yours. What you and, and why don't you wear it at the spotlight tonight? <laughs> Afraid not, Millie. But I do have something in mind for a private showing. You wicked girl, you. So fine. The way I figured, I don't. Ha- and you don't have much choice. Just tell them what they want to know, and we'll be out of here. But but this is wrong. I I'm not a communist. Um. So yeah, they're calling. They're uh oh. He's before the um anti-American. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Hi, sweetheart. I'm home. Hi, baby doll. My God, Charles, are you still working on that Aurora script? Honey, you know this is the biggest picture I've ever directed. And uh, we start shooting in two weeks. I just want every scene to be perfect. With budgets being what they are, you don't get a second chance. I know, Charles, but I still and you still need a break. What did you have in mind? It's the new Wonder Woman costume. Like it? Well, and well, tie me up and force me to tell the truth. Come over here, you Amazon princess. We're going to be late meeting our friends at the spotlight. And so ask me if I care. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, Brenda, over here. Hey, gang. Slow, slow gin, Fitz, Mar- Fitz Marty. Got it, Charles. Stefan, hey, pal. Glad you're here. I want to show you some ideas I have for Aurora. Ten present crash. Uh, Stefan, you find to join the group over here? Land of the free. It's a joke. Forget it, Charles. I think he's happier over there. Yeah, over by the hooch. Oh, let, let him alone. He'll join us when he's ready. Hey, gang, how about a toast to Charles Bennett, America's next great writer-director, and Brenda Kelly, the the, the movie's sexiest Wonder Woman. Only American could their dreams come true. Yes, let's drink to the land of the free. Ha! Land of hypocrisy. Backstabbing fascists, the whole stinking bunch. Sure, betray your friends. Raise your glasses and drink to your wonderful democracy. Everybody's happy. Let's all have a drink. <sighs> and Charles, I think we better get Stefan home. Okay, Stefan. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Into the car. We're going home. Presently crushed. That's it. Time for bed, old pal. I think he's out for the night. 
I've never seen him like this before. Where did all that come from? Who knows? Come on, honey. Let's head home. At today's rally, they go on about the, uh, yeah, this is um, Randolph, Randolph talking about it. It goes on because of this. It seems inevitable that Randolph will easily be reelected. Congratulations, darling. You've done it again. Oh, come on, Envy. I, uh, if not for your instincts, I don't know where we'd be. The people are fed up with the damn Reds, and you really called it. Jack, let me tell you something. Remember when you decided to go into politics? I told you I'll help you, and I meant it all the way. I'm committed to doing anything I have in order to make your dreams come true, no matter what. Do you understand? Sure, honey. Good. Good night, Jack. Several days later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, guys. Let me through. You know I'm just a writer. I don't make studio policy. Damn striker. Uh, they're on strike. Damn striker. Sorry about the ruckus, Mr. Bennett. No problem, Al. They're just doing what they have to. And like it or not, they've got a right to do it. <laughs> Charles, you're a hoot. Go on inside. Mr. Gorman and Mr. Nash are waiting. Thanks, GD. Charles, good to see you. Come on in. Morning, Morris. Hey, Larry. Hope you didn't get into too much trouble getting past those worthless picketers on your way in. Oh, no, no trouble at all. Yeah, well, those damn unions are trying to bleed us dry. Cigar? They're Cuban. No, thanks. I've got, I, I've got, I, I've come up with a great idea for a body action sequence. Charles, I'm afraid I have some bad news. These union strikes are killing us. We're already shorthanded in wardrobe props and set construction. The only way to get by is to put Aurora on hold. For God's sakes, Morris, we're supposed to start shooting in 10 days. I know, Charles, we're upset too. Especially frustrated since we all feel Aurora has the potential to be the big release of 1948. Look, Charles, I know you're disappointed, but understand the studio is still 100% committed to doing Aurora. Well, how long are we going to wait? Just until this blows over. Meantime, take yourself a vacation and don't worry about saying, Yeah, sure, Morris. Okay. Team 22, take three. Action! As we're seeing all that, I love what I'm seeing here, Morris. This is exactly the kind of thing that you, so America, needs to see more of. I would like to personally congratulate the cast and crew. Well, I see that could be arranged. They're shooting on stage seven, aren't they, Manny? Let's all head on over there. Cut! Okay, everyone, take ten. What's wrong, Kelly? It's these braces. They weigh a ton. Hey, Harry, what are these places made of? Lead? No, actual steel. Those and they're slave shackles from the fall of the Roman Empire. Like everything else on this set, we scrounge up some from other productions. Brenda, you up for some gossip? Really? Me? Gossip? Never. Even if it's all about the status of a stall pet project of a certain someone's boyfriend. All right, Millie, speed. Aurora's a go again. Really? You, and where'd you hear that? From Stefan. He said Larry Nash told him so. I wonder if Charles knows and knows yet. I gotta call him. Hey, people. There's someone here we'd like you to meet. Mr. Goldman. Well, well, it ain't the big cheese with a side of ham. Shh. People, and people, please, let me introduce Senator Jack Randolph and his wife, Evelyn. I just want to congratulate folks on the first and first rate job you're doing with this show. You should all be very proud of yourself. See what I mean? How this is so much more political, and mm -hmm. she just happens to be Wonder Woman. Yeah. You're starting to get that vibe with this, right? It's like someone, yeah. they want to tell one story, and they're using the Wonder Woman stuff as a, as a, what's the word I'm looking for? As a... Yeah, it's not like right. the other ones where Wonder where like the character was like an inspiration for the main, uh, for the protagonist. Or the, or the, or the symbol. It, well, it's a bit closer to Superman that the guy was more having the Superman stuff forced on him, and then he just rolled with it. True, but still, yeah. But yeah, so um, they're all ready to you know, like. You know, but now they're getting ready to tell him, like, the movie's ready and everything. You seem to be in a good mood. I am. And not one, but two good reasons. Mario, bought up your finest. So tell them about how um, Randolph showed up, asked him to join me as um, Wonder Woman at a public appearance. And I, I just love it. Or just, and Randolph's politics are just the, the right of a telethon. Charles, it's publicity. Think about what it would do for my career. And then mentioned how Aurora's back on track. That's for later. For now, a toast. Well, when would you expect him back? No, just tell him to phone me as soon as he gets in. Damn, I've called anyone who has anything to do with Aurora. Can you believe it? No one is home. Well, I'm bushed. I'm going to bed. 
Uh, hello, Marty. It's Charles. Sick guy. At least my agent's home. You busy? Uh, no, no, Charles. You got my undivided attention. Great. Listen, I just found out Aurora's back on and back on again, but no one's called me. Have you heard? Got a peep. Where'd you get the word? Got the line from the studio gossip mill. All right, Charlie, you sit tight and Monday morning, I'll make some calls. We'll find out what's going on. Oh, boy. But things are about to get dirty. I'm, a, I'm glad I'm not in his shoes. Uh, oh, boy. So, yeah, first we're getting stuff like, you're not saying and saying it. Wonder Woman is. Just take, so basically they're giving her a speech to say as Wonder Woman. Even if it's stuff that she doesn't want to say. Okay. So, yeah, she's obviously promoting him and everything. This is about our future for our children, things like that. They love Wonder Woman. We should definitely keep using her. I was thinking the same thing. But, uh, we oh, find- she becomes a propaganda tool. Unfortunately. And um, everyone keeps on, um, you know, everyone keeps on dodging him, avoiding him, and says, like, you know, oh, nope, nope. Mr. Goldman, we need to talk right now. I'm busy, Charlie. Uh, and Charlie, uh, I, another time would be, no, Morris, I want to know about Aurora. Are you shooting my film without me? Your film? It's not your film. It's my film. I'm sorry, Mr. Goldman. I try to tell him. That's uh, Thanks. And, and that's okay, Jeannie. I can have this. I created Aurora. I brought it to you. Why would you do this to me? Who the hell do you think you are? I'll tell you who I am, you little pish picer. The head of the studio. Oh, oh no. They think he's a commie. Someone okay. threw him under the bus. Okay, I see. You see why all this is happening now, right? Yeah. But um, I just got canned. That's all. How did David put it? Terminated. What? They're firing you? That's right, sister. They'll be bringing in a replacement to reshoot all my scenes. But everyone loves you. Doesn't make sense. Sure it does. Haven't you heard about those commie witch hunt tea parties they're throwing downtown? You know where they invite you to in the rat on all your friends? I think so, but what does that have to do with you? Back in New York in the 30s, a lot of us starving young artists got so hungry, socialists decided it's not a good idea. And I was dumb enough to sign my name on a membership list. Someone must have found the list and given me my name. And oh. now I'm out of a job. Well, this isn't right. All Just little mistakes. Mm-hmm. Little mistakes and your life is over. Yeah. So, yeah, she's gone, and then couldn't believe it. Tried to find out why, and maybe I got a little angry. I had every right to be, but it's all bollocks up now. Morris Goldman threw me off the light. Lot. Oh, my God. I'll stay here. Oh. Oh, geez. But then Stefan shows up and tells him what's wrong, and he basically says, he gave him his name. Mm-hmm. You mean the citizen for free something or other? And we walked out. It was a bunch of socialists who we remember. Yeah, I know, but I didn't know what else to say. I'm so so you basically talking about they walked in and walked, you know, but they didn't care if they walked out. Yeah. So now because of that, that's why his whole life is going to hell. I see. So yep, and now um, Stefan's trying to say, I lied. I betrayed my friend, and now his career is destroyed. Stefan, let me tell you something. Times are tough. The pressure is on all of us. The name of the game is survival. And uh, take a look, a long look now, and and tell up now to tell them these punks are off my lot. Oh boy, oh jeez, new contract, new contract. Millie's there, Billy. Uh, uh, for God's sake, turn off the hose. People are getting hurt. Miss Kelly, don't. Uh oh. Oh it's God. Brenda, what the hell is that super broad thing she's doing? How could anyone do this? These people are like family. You're treating them like animals. Get Miss Kelly cleaned up and in my office in one hour. I think we need to talk. Oh, boy. See what I mean? Why I'm speeding through a lot of this? Because you're going to already see where... It's so predictable, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not a communist. Why is everyone crucifying me over a lie? Look, pal, my hands are tied. We could talk again when the heat dies down. Till then, you have to excuse me. I like to get back to my game. Sorry, Coop. Whose shot was it? Oh, boy. So, again, all this stuff about propaganda's bad, okay? Mm-hmm. In the artwork, it's not the greatest. It's not. It really isn't. It's simple. It's too simple. It's like yeah. they just throw this one in just to make sure they had the trinity. I think, I think that's what it was. They were like, just get a Wonder Woman story in there. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, and then they're like, we need something, something. But it's like, Wonder Woman doesn't even seem to be important for her. 
She's not in this story, no. Yeah, but yeah, to mention how things are heating up all over the country, and um, you got a bright future and everything. Don't screw it up. So the guy, is not, and now he's burning everything dealing with Aurora. Everything. And he plans on moving. So it's getting out of town. The Italians will love you. But they can't just pick up and leave. Because, yeah, she's worked so hard. She doesn't want to lose it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, boy. Where does that put the scan here? But, um, but yeah, so they decided to go in front of the Un-American Activities Committee next week to try and clear his name. So they're all just having some time, you know, that night and everything, talking about it all. But then, wouldn't you know it? No one wants to hear him. Absolutely no one wants to hear him. They just have their evidence, and that's all they need. And he basically says, so the only way for me to get free is that I throw someone else under the bus. Which is true. That was the only way. The only way to survive was to throw friends under the bus to the wolves. Yeah. And ruin their lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, he then gets thrown up in the lockup. Exactly. So, yeah, basically now they're feeling like this isn't right. And they know just how bad um, up in the anti-red stuff that Lloyd and that um, senator is. So what are they going to do? Well, first they stage a little uh, you know, anti-communist situation with her there. Mm-hmm. But then afterwards she decides to then go off the script and try to say how this isn't right, everyone. This is the work that Jeff Rudolph support. And what happened to Charles Bennett could happen to any of us. But then Stefan, he uh, he loses it because uh, he was the one who was responsible, mm-hmm. and uh, he get uh, she gets shot. It bounces off her uh, bracelet, um, and then uh, and then he Stefan gets killed. Mm-hmm. And then it turns out we find out she lost um, uh, her job and everything, mm-hmm. all because she decided to stand up. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, poor Stefan is is dead, but we see she still was Charlie and everything. Things are, they're scraping by as it is, but we also find out the senator won in re-election on the land side. Sure. And that's it! That's it? See what I meant by how stupid this was? Yeah, you're right. This was the weakest one. It's a shame, too. It could have been good, but clearly this was something that it really shouldn't have been. No, really, uh, what you could use any if you want to use a paranoia character for the question, here, you could use the question or even Batman to a degree, yeah. But Wonder Woman, and again, there wasn't even an actual um, um it wasn't even like someone was inspired by Wonder Woman, it's just someone happened to play Wonder Woman in a movie. I know this was beyond stupid, I and I hate that because again, and the artwork was cringe. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not the worst artwork I've ever seen. But in fact, all this was was communism is bad. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, take the Wonder Woman stuff out. It's not bad on its own. No, it's a good communist story. It's just, just a crappy Wonder Woman story. Yeah, and again, it's like, okay, yeah, she does the right thing, but then doesn't amount to anything. She lost her job. Mm-hmm. All because she chose to stand up for her rights. Because that's the way it was back then. Which, I mean, I get it. We don't, and they want to keep it real. Let's say it's the real world. I get it. But it's not like even her being Wonder Woman influenced her doing this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, and again, every the bad guys won. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, you know, it's It's really odd. Yeah, but at least we find out that Aurora is being done on stage, so they're able to get away by doing stuff on stage still, at least. Yeah, so in terms of rating this, I give it a probably a five. I was about to say the same thing, a definite five, because it's just not that good. And, and the art was not my favorite. The question when you compare it to Jose Luis Garcia Lopez and yeah, Marshall yeah. Rogers. Yeah, exactly. But this was just... Again, it just felt like this was slapped on. Mm-hmm. Because that's the way Wonder Woman normally is, just slapped on. And then oh, again, she's not, Fred is not even the main focus of the story. I, I, I know. Yeah, again, you could literally take take the Wonder Woman part out of the movie, and for the most part, it changes literally nothing. Yeah, put some um, you know, um, original character, superhero character for her to be playing as. 
Yeah, th this could have been a Captain America story, as a matter of fact. Yeah, but again, the fact that it was Charlie is the main focus, not not Brenda. Yeah, if they, it would be another thing if they had Brenda be the main character, but I'm like, yeah. Unfortunately, because all women were were actors. I know, I get it. All women were were actors. You can't get much of the drama unless you have it be someone who's higher up, but the only one who would do that would be a man. But you could have her try to fight for those rights. Which she started to. by Wonder Woman. But yeah, if only we had the Wonder Woman connection. The, the entire so. book, the entire book should have been that last part w where she goes off script. Yeah. I mean, if it says here, like, too bad your life ain't a serial where Wonder Woman could just swoop in and clock the creep. That's as far as we get. Yeah, exactly. If the book had been all that, it would have been a completely different story. But I mean, I get it. They're wanting to go for keeping it realistic. And I get that. Still. Uh, oh, well, at least we got a better one to go over. Yep. Yeah. With, let's do it. With, with, yeah. But we'll see you guys on that one next. See you later. Take, 